Ah, the Ballon d'Or, that annual spectacle where football stars strut their stuff as though they were the only thing keeping vineyards of grapes from becoming mere grape juice. And now, with Real Madrid throwing a tantrum and saying no, thank you, to the ceremony, it's like crushing a grape and getting juice everywhere. They must think this is some sort of fancy dress party where they forgot to send in the RSVP. Real Madrid, darling, the world will keep spinning even without your royal attendance. Picture this, a grand hall filled with glamorous footballers waiting to receive their shiny little golden balls while munching on overpriced hors d'oeuvres. And then, bam, comes Real Madrid, claiming they've been slighted. Someone should check their calendars. Are we in 2023 or is it 1988 when they could dictate the rules? Football has evolved, boys. It's about time you rolled with the punches instead of sending your butler to the corner to sulk. Let's break it down for a second. Real Madrid is boycotting a fancy event because they feel overlooked. I mean, if we were them, we would have just turned up with a massive float and balloons the size of the Eiffel Tower, shouting, look at us. But instead, it's more like they brought out the invisible cloak and are sulking in a corner. Grab some popcorn, folks. This drama is more entertaining than a game-winning penalty shootout. Oh, the irony. Real Madrid, the club that has a trophy cabinet resembling a small museum, is now pulling the sulky kid in the playground card. Really, do they think that skipping the ceremony will make anyone rethink their significance in the football world? This is not a kindergarten where if you throw your snack on the floor, everyone suddenly rushes to offer you new ones. How about a little maturity in the world of football? And let's talk about respect. Real Madrid is waving the red flag of outrage, but isn't it adorable when the richest kids in the block talk about respect? They've made their own standards for this thing we call love in the sport, and now they're claiming hurt feelings? Perhaps they confuse respect with the sound of cash registers in the transfer market. Someone needs to remind them that respect is earned and not just through buying every star player in sight. But wait, there's more. Can you imagine the reactions at the ceremony when they realize the absence of Real Madrid is like a grand feast minus the chocolate cake? The media will be sharpening their pens, eager to write about the boycotting heroes of Spain. A lack of drama is just a fairy tale, and here comes Real Madrid to spice things up. Move over, Game of Thrones. We have the drama of football brewing. So here we are, Real Madrid, the self-proclaimed monarchs of football, opting out of the Ballon d'Or. Do they think this boycott will raise their profile? Or will it just have the effect of a bunch of celebrities trying to make every political issue a platform for their next film? It's all very confusing. Should we be applauding their stand or just laughing at the absurdity of it all? What do you think, dear audience? Are they proving a point or just acting out? Like and subscribe, please.